Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Omega Seamaster 300 meter. You can see this Omega Seamaster 300 meter coaxial chronometer, 41.5 millimeters in stainless steel on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now this Omega Seamaster 300 incorporates all of the running refinements since we first saw this style debut in 1993. It became a legend on the wrist of Pierce Brosnan through his four turns as Bond, and it's even made some cameo appearances with Daniel Craig during the modern reboot of the series. This is the style universally known as the 007 The Bond. But what sets this one apart from others is the combination of the most advanced movement, the most refined Seamaster bracelet, the most refined clasp, dial, and bezel insert. We'll get to that in a moment, but I want to focus on ergonomics because if this is the first time you've seen this model, you're going to want to know that it's nice and thin. Now, 12.5 millimeters thick, it has a slightly conical case back, as you can see, so when it's actually strapped down on your wrist, it nestles in. Now, with a sloped bezel with a little bit of a knurled flange, it's easy for a tight dress cuff, any kind of suit, really, any kind of formal sleeve to get up and over this, as befits a watch worn by Bond in casual and action capacities. Now you can see that the watch is also reasonably moderate in size from side to side. Let's regain our focus and take a look at the 47.5 millimeter lug to lug measurement. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, this watch isn't even close to overlapping the edges of my wrist. It's a nice easy fit in that sense. So if you do have a smaller wrist, you like the Bond watches, but you think some of the modern Planet Oceans worn by Daniel Craig are perhaps a little bit too big for you, this is an outstanding no compromise solution. What I really like is that although the five link bracelet was one of the best in the 90s, Omega hasn't rested on its laurels, making it physically more substantial in the hand. And you can actually see on the flanks one of the major improvements. One of the great running changes was the swap of the pins that used to hold these links together and required a jeweler's block to displace and size with conventional screws. So you can now size this bracelet yourself using nothing but a small screwdriver. And the sizable links are present on both sides. Moreover, what was one of the best deployment clasps of the 90s has only increased its advantage with time. Now you see there's a gorgeous olive style twin trigger release. They used to be round, now they're a high polished elongated shape that contrasts beautifully with the brush finish of the clasp. You have the same secure action, opening and closing and inspiring confidence while doing so. Now this was the dive extension of the 1990s and it remains one of the best in the business. Again, even this has changed. You can see these little sprung ceramic balls. What they are is small sprung ceramic ball bearings that actually retreat into the extension and they hold it in place when closed. Now this used to be performed historically by small metal tabs. The problem was the metal tabs would wear down and create a ropiness that would somehow and sometimes diminish the effectiveness of the clasp. Sometimes it would close with less crispness. It wouldn't stay shut as tenaciously. No more. The material improvement here, ceramic is virtually resistant to wear against this metal, ensures that this one is going to stay crisp for the long term. What I really like though is that all of the improvements substantively to the dial and the bezel are readily apparent and highly practical. First and foremost, from 2012 to present, the Seamaster 300 has featured the same high quality ceramic bezel seen on other rotating bezel Omega Seamaster models in the Planet Ocean line. Now the blue naturally flows into the gloss color of the dial. It also matches the scratch resistance of the sapphire crystal, so you don't have that asymmetrical wear that we used to see on the 90s bonds where the aluminum bezel insert would become gouged and chipped and scratched. Now it's effectively just as wear resistant as the sapphire itself. It also looks a million dollars compared to the old anodized insert and the dial base itself, no longer the matte Seamaster wave fashion, features a gorgeous gloss that really causes the hand applied indices as well as the Omega marquee at 12 o'clock to just pop against that backdrop. I love the old style, but I have to say in every respect, substantively, and even 
I would say subjectively, this just feels richer. This feels like a product befitting luxury status. Now, the printed date disc features a silvered font on top of a black base, so it offers both more contrast than the old date disc, as well as being a little bit more visually consonant with the dial itself. They're both dark colors, so it isn't as dissonant as the old light colored disc was. Now, beneath the dial sits Omega's coaxial caliber 2500 here in Delta spec. The most current and most advanced version of Omega's first coaxial caliber, this one is just as robust as the caliber 8500s and 9300s, and it actually features the same escapement architecture that has made those really the standard of durability as well as chronometer grade accuracy in the Omega Movement collection. So you now get that same standard of durability in the original 2500. With a 48 hour power reserve, again chronometer certification, hacking or stop seconds so you can synchronize it precisely to a dive timer or a quartz clock, and a quick set date. This is a practical as well as highly accurate watch. Precise and premium in every respect. Now the classic Helium escape valve, still more of a curiosity than a practical feature, remains as a charming styling characteristic of the design. You may never need it, but then again, you may never need a Ferrari. It's fun to have, and that's the whole idea of having a luxury product. More than you need, but pretty much what you want. You can see this outstanding, refined, and contemporary take on a classic on our website, watchyouwant.com.